Hi everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning user interface and user experience designs. Now, before we begin, I would like to tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So, without further ado, let's get started with today's session on user interface and user experience. So the user interface or user experience design or also known as UI UX is the process of creating digital products with a user first approach. The goal of UI UX design is to provide a product that is both aesthetic and extremely pleasurable to use. It is a common idea that UI and UX are essentially the same thing and belong to the same discipline but that is not totally accurate. They are separate fields that concentrate on different aspects of the user interaction with a digital product. However, they are closely related and overlap in so many ways that they are largely merged into one profession. So to start off with, let's have a quick look at the agenda for today's session. We will start off by understanding what is UI UX. We will move on to what skills do UI UX designers need and what are their tasks. Next, we will see the difference between UI and UX, then what are the research techniques in UI UX and how they work together and what are the disadvantages of combining them both. So I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now, what is user experience and user interface is our first topic. Let's get going. So, how a person will engage with a product, understanding your user's complete journey and translating it into a product. The interaction of human user with daily products and services is the subject of UX design. It includes user engagement. User engagement would come up if you were to summarize the aim of your user experience efforts, they maintain a connection with their user interests, motivations, and ambitions through engagement. Next, objectives. Objectives as in the industry, UX design seeks to increase consumer satisfaction and loyalty through the usability, simplicity of use, and enjoyment provided in the engagement with a product. UX refers to the complete user experience that customers receive with a product. By evaluating product's usability, we can tell whether consumers can execute tasks successfully and quickly. Good usability is the basics for a successful user experience, and it is frequently confused by user experience and the simplicity of use. A part of user experience, UX design, is usability. Usability is the second level of user experience. Therefore, you must address your product's usability once you've established that it can resolve users' problems. The degree to which a designer's features fit users' demands and situations determines how usable the design is. And usability involves navigation. The discipline of creating, analyzing, and implementing ways for users to navigate through a website or app familiarity. Next is consistency. A usable and user-friendly design always provides a consistent experience. Followed by that, we have error prevention. Alerting a user when they are making an error with the intention to make it easy for them to do whatever it is they are doing without a mistake. Next, we have feedback. Feedback is used to engage and explain and can improve the user satisfaction. Followed by that, we have visual clarity. Visual clarity is the measure of how effectively visual design prioritizes and conveys information. Lastly, we have flexibility. It is about knowing your customers and giving flexibility for different customer intents. Now that we have brief understanding of what UX is, let us understand what is UI. UI or user interface. The point of human contact and interaction on a device is called user interface. This can include desktop displays, keyboards, 
mice and other pointing devices. It also refers to the manner in which a user engages with a website or application. In other words, they design the user interface of a website or app. After knowing what is user interface, we will see the different types of user interface. First, we have command line interface or CLI. CLI enables users to input commands into a terminal or dashboard window in order to communicate with a piece of software. And it is a platform or channel where users respond to a visible prompt by typing a command and receiving the system's response. Next, we have GUI or graphical user interface. Graphical user interface enables people to engage with just an operating system using graphics. In the graphical user interface, there are menus like windows, scroll bars, buttons, wizards, painting pictures, alternative icons, and much more. It is simple to understand and natural. The user is shown or given information in any format, including plain text, videos, photos, etc. Followed by that, we have touch graphical user interface. A touch graphical user interface can be used with either the user's fingerprints or a stylus to control graphics. This can be done on a desktop computer, laptop, or a portable device like mobile phone. Touchscreen graphical user interfaces are increasingly used in hospital situations and provide both patients and healthcare workers with a number of advantages. There are a lot of skills required for both UI and UX. Let's have a look at those skills. Skills UX designers need due to the nature of their work. UX designers require a technological skill set such as design or development with programs like Sketch, Caused by Defect, and Adobe XD. Successful UX designers have had the following soft talents or abilities. Let's discuss the different skills for UX designers. In addition to hard capabilities are research, problem solving, and communication. Research. Research is a fundamental skill. Designers must derive useful insights from the data they gather, both in early stages and during the real world testing. Next, we have problem solving. In a process called dynamic, UX designers look at a variety of methods to solve a single user problem. They not only fix difficulties during prototypes, but they also continuously develop and improve goods or services to make them more user friendly. Finally, we have communication. Because UX design is indeed a highly collaborative process, communication is essential. This includes being able to effectively communicate within the team and to customers about the user's needs and requirements when using the product. Now, let's discuss about the skills that UI designers need. To work as a UI designer, they must need some hard skills. UI designers must keep up with current trends, methods, and technologies to grow. They must be familiar with design aesthetics, user interfaces, and brand design, layouts, and other aspects of graphic design. They must also know how to use graphic design and wireframing software. There are some of the following skills required to become a UI designer. Creativity. The only way UI designers can effectively fix problems is by coming up with novel ideas. Since imagination is a part of creativity, businesses seek out creative individuals. Teamwork and communication. The user interface designer must work well with others. They collaborate closely with product architects and web developers. So, clear communication is essential for a successful end product. Adaptability. Technology evolves at a rapid pace. To consistently develop their products and services, good UI design embraces changes and keeps on top of the industry trends. After knowing the skills required for UX and UI designers, we will look into their different tasks. UX designers. UX designers start by researching. In-person interviews are frequently the first step in user research. These conversations allow them to have a better understanding of the user's motives and problems. User tests are also conducted by the designer to observe the user activity. 
They improve and deliver the greatest possible user experience by detecting both verbal and non-verbal stumbling obstacles. Such tasks done by UX designers are user understanding, analyze interaction and wireframing or prototyping. So the first one is user understanding. The depth research is typically the first step in UX design with the aim of understanding the audience, their needs and wants. A key competency for UX designers is empathy. It aids UX designers in comprehending and revealing the hidden wants and reactions of the target audience. Next, the analyze interaction. Designers of user experience examine how users interact with things including their routines, preferences and shortcuts. Better design solutions are proposed during all the available insights. And the last one is prototyping. A prototype is a model or a trial version that UX teams use for testing before launching. It seeks to test and validate ideas before sharing concepts with stakeholders and ultimately handling off the final versions to design engineers for the development process. UX designers are always active in how a product is put together. To make sure the design is going in a proper direction, they communicate with each team member. Now, after knowing tasks done by UX designers, we will look into UI designer task. UI designers. The web designer is in charge of creating how the product is set out graphically once the UX team has completed their process and handled over a wireframe. They must, of course, design from the user's perspective. This includes understanding interface design and implementing basic design principles. It also entails selecting fonts, menu designs, buttons, icons and other elements with care to both express the brand and satisfy the user. There are several tasks done by UI designers and the first one is testing. In general, UI testing, sometimes referred to as testing, is a process designed to test the features of any product that the user will interact with. Typically, this involves doing tests on the visual components to ensure that they are performing and functionally in accordance with the specifications. Communication. Typically, the technical team, UX designers and UI designers collaborate closely. Communicational abilities are needed to grasp technical viability. Wireframing. One of the most important processes in UI UX design is wireframing. This involves modeling the framework of digital applications. A wireframe is a product outline that shows what software components will be present in important pages. It is an essential step in process of design interactions. Now, we will see the difference between UI UX. Two of the terms used in web and application design that get mixed up and confused most are UX design and UI design. And that makes sense. On the surface, they appear to be describing the same thing because they are frequently combined in phase UI UX design. But don't worry, we will try to understand the basic differences between UI and UX. User experience relates to the user's experience of the product or service, whereas UI refers to the visual components through which humans connect with a product. Therefore, UX focuses on visual interface elements like fonts, colors, menu bars, and much more, whereas UI focuses on user and their experience with the product. After knowing the difference of UX, UI, we will see the research techniques in both UI, UX. The practice of gathering information from actual users in understanding their demands and trouble areas is known as user research. There are the following UX research techniques. User persona. A user persona is a fictionized picture of average user. The objective of this is to assist UX designers to develop solutions with particular target user in mind as opposed to a general one. User interviews. User interviews are a great method to get user data, learn why users encounter certain issue and determine whether your design fulfills their needs. Next, surveys. A specific group of users is sent a set of questions by designers as a part of UX research survey to learn more about their attitude and preferences. Now, we will see the research techniques of UI designers. 
Research ensures that user wants and expectations are taken into consideration while designing user interfaces, which is typically the very first stage in the process. After the user experience has been established, the UI design process begins. The best color schemes, patterns and other visual components must be determined by UI designers. This makes it possible for the UI designers to get ideas and ensure that the design components they select are in line with users' choices and needs. Now we will see how they work together. While UI and UX design involve quite distinct technical skills, they are both majorly elements that must work together to provide the optimal user experience. Without a proper UX design, a beautiful UI design might become clumsy and complicated to navigate. Understanding the user's demands should be the first step in any front-end design and development process. Now after this, we will see the disadvantages of combining them both. It's almost like wearing two hats at once when you have a combined UI UX function. UI and UX designers have diverse skill sets, even though most firms advertise a UX UI function as a single unified role. Its main focus, way of looking at things and approach to prototyping a product are very different. It might be difficult and reduce the amount of focus needed for each discipline in a mixed UI UX role to constantly transition between ideas and representations. So with that, we have come to an end of this session on UI and UX. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources that we used in this session like PPD, etc., then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.